Uh, you can see we're kind of dressed for mud. Uh, unfortunately, the last couple of weeks have been pretty wet up here in northern Colorado, and so it's delayed us a little bit. And as we walk around the site, we're going to try to keep the mud off the clean black clergy clothes. Um, as we're out here in the back, you can see that our brand new playground is finally finished. We've got the uh, material down for the kids, and very soon we'll, we'll be able to start using this new uh, playground. You can also see that we've lined out these uh, purple or pink uh, striping and tells you where our new patio is going, which will be on this west end of our existing gym slash fellowship hall, which we're using as a gym and church. And they've leveled out the ground here, getting it ready for the spring planting, sod work, and landscape area and all of that. Um, but we're pretty excited. We've made some massive progress here just on the site itself. Last time we were here, you saw big piles of dirt, and uh, a lot of that dirt's gone because it's been put into the backfill. We're gonna make our way around the corner, you'll kind of see that. You can see some of the debris that came up as we were excavating and moving things, old landscaping uh, pipes, and gosh, there was actually a bunch of stuff that was left over from when they were building on this site back in the 70s. We cleaned all that up, uh, and we've got a really brand new, perfect site. We're pretty excited about it. As you look out here, you'll see these little uh, orange stakes and some larger stakes. This is mapping out the curb and gutter. Uh, that curb and gutter was supposed to be in by now, but again, because of the rain, we got a little bit delayed. But nevertheless, that stuff is laid out. We're getting ready to pour that curb and gutter, pour the foundations for our new light poles, and then hopefully hit our target date uh, here in November of getting our first lift of asphalt down. We wanna get that asphalt down before the asphalt plants close, make sure that the site is prepped for winter and they can continue to work. Well, here's our site again. As we make our way over here, we're gonna take you through it a little bit more in detail. Last time we were on the outside of the site. Today, I wanna to take you through the inside a little bit more. Uh, you can see some of the standing water, what we're dealing with. Uh, we're, we're hoping with this Colorado sun, uh, it's gonna dry out. And you can all pray that we don't get more rain and snow. It really makes this quite difficult. But the last time we were looking at this, uh, we hadn't done the backfill. Well, you can see now that that backfill is in. Um, what happens next is compaction. That got delayed because of the rain. Um, but compaction, then they're gonna lay down four inches of uh, gravel. And then on top of that, you'll get your first pour for basically what becomes the subfloor for where your tile and your carpet and all that goes. As we step into the site, uh, just to point out again, okay, this, this right here, this little area where you see these metal straps coming out, this is something that they do for framing. This is your west entrance to the church. There's two little posts there will be columns and will hold out a little roof. In front of this area is gonna be a patio, fountain, bell tower. It all connects up to the concrete work that's in front of our fellowship hall. All that'll be brand new. You can see that we've demoed that out. We've moved the old uh, awning over and moved our, our you know, limited uh, play structure. That's what we had in the past and our picnic tables. All that goes away. That'll all connect massive plaza onto a patio in front of our fellowship hall with a wraparound sidewalk that connects to the patio on the west end of the gym for fellowship. That, as I said, will have you know a beautiful lawn, beautiful plantings. You saw the playground. What's also gonna go in is a metal ornamental fence. It'll really set the area apart. Trees all along the edge, new curb cuts, brand new parking lot, lighting. Uh, we've got in our in our wish list items you can purchase a shrub. It's only $55. You can purchase one of the trees for I think like $260. All that's gonna get planted in the spring. But just to give you a sense, the site's gonna get quite beautiful. Well, as you come into the building on the west end, this area right here, this is our vestibule. We come into the vestibule, um, it'll be barrel roof, beautiful pendant light that'll go above, gorgeous entry doors, wood, glass as you come into the site. Right off to the right, as you come in, coat closet on this side, mechanical room, janitorial. You can actually see the water supply. One of the upgrades we met, made during this is we, we're gonna upgrade our water supply, create a shutoff valve for the education building and one here for the church. So some of the internal improvements we're making. Now look here at the foundation. This last time you couldn't see this. This blue part here, this is the insulation that goes in. It goes down about four feet. Then on this other side, 
you can kind of see this in black paint here. Uh, this was the damping that was done. So a lot of the work that you know you never see, foundation work, really important uh, that went in. Now we've got all the backfill in, right? Now this area right here that we're standing in, this is the, the new narthex. It's quite big. It's about 25 feet by 25 feet. And I'm gonna ask Nolan to kind of pan up. You see our roof line? We're gonna tie into that roof line. And so as you as you come into this space, as you walk into the vestibule and get into the narthex, boy, you have this massive space that you come in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna match those uh, blue laminate supports as we come out the ribbing. Uh, we're going to match the tongue and groove. Right, so this is going to be quite a beautiful space. Now while you're standing in it, the top, there's a dormer. The dormer is going to have nine windows. So you're going to get a lot of top light, a lot of indirect light pouring in through the space. We're scheduled to have this tiled. Now that's a matter of fundraising and, and this would be porcelain tile throughout, right? This would be where you light your candle, come into the church, uh, prepare yourself to enter the sanctuary. Now, as you get to this space, I'm going to have Nolan kind of stay here. I'm going to go up to the space. As you get to this space, this transition between the narthex and the nave, this is a massive glass wall. Um, panes of glass that are nine foot in size, divided by a beautiful millwork. Uh, the millwork itself will match the mahogany cherry that we've got on our icon screen. So you'll have this grid pattern with glass doors. So as you walk into the church, you can kind of make it out right now. You can see at the back, you can see how we frame now the new east end. That's where that icon of the platitella, the more spacious than the heavens will be. So as you walk into the church, as you walk into the narthex, by the way, you'll be able to see the nave into the sanctuary, and you'll be able to see that icon of the Christ child held in the arms of the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, all the way here in the narthex. So we're going to connect these spaces, make people who've entered in the church recognize that they're now entering into a sacred space. Over here, uh, you can kind of make out some of what we've done here. We've got a new storage area for our library bookstore. We've got our library, I'm sorry, library over here, bookstore over here. We'll have a storefront glass. Um, got a new office for our parish council, a new conference room over here. Keep in mind, fit and finish. We're doing all hardwood um, uh, framing, right? Our, our windows will be leaded glass. Uh, they'll have an etching of a cross in them. So in terms of the fit and finish, it's going to be quite, quite exquisite, right? Now, Nolan, take a, take a pan over to here and you can see this trench. The so last time that we showed you, this trench wasn't here. Um, what you can see, if you, if you look carefully in the video, is you can see the old um, trench work. It's a CMU blocking, it's kind of broken. Um, that's what the old mechanical system was running through. Not exactly uh, the best, not, not very hygienic. Um, I mentioned in the last video that we're, we're changing a lot of the mechanical. We're, we're upgrading this to a basically a brand new building, uh, 21st century standards. So we've excavated. Not only did we knock out the old system, we've gone down further. Um, we're going to go ahead and pour a new sub base of cement in here. And then we're gonna lay in what's called blue pipe. Uh, blue pipe is a really advanced new technology. It's basically got an, uh, an endless life. Uh, it, it doesn't uh, trap mold or mildew. Uh, it'll be great for people that have got environmental uh, sensitivities. Anyway, we're going to lay all that new blue, blue pipe in, which will connect into our new mechanical. In the last video I mentioned, we're going from 8 tons to, to over 20 tons of heating and cooling. So it's a, a massive upgrade. As we go into the, into the building, Imagine now we've, we've crossed the threshold to be a beautiful set of new glass doors that you'll come from the narthex and the nave in. Now you're in the sanctuary. Th this is the main nave. And, and as you come in here, uh, you can kind of see on this left side another mechanical trench, another mechanical trench over to the far side, uh, similar to what I just explained here. But I want to give you a sense of this space now. As we come in to this space, you can see that the old CMU blocking, it, this is a construction style you can't even use today. Uh, it's not code. So we're, we're bringing it into the 21st century. We're going to fur all these walls out um, with 2 by 4s We're going to insulate them. Uh, and then we're going to put new drywall. We're going to give it a level 4 and a level 5 finish. That's a finish that they use in museums uh, so that we can paint directly onto the drywall so that we don't later go back and have to redo it so that our iconographer can apply the iconography right to the walls. 
Um, as you come in, uh, I, want, I want to point this out. When we stripped away the old building, we noticed that there was these old clear story windows. And we're going to recapture that. We, we've go to, gone ahead and reframed these so you'll see the new blocking. Um, and we've ordered those windows. So I mentioned in the last uh, video, we've got something like over 32 new windows. Well, that number went up by eight. We're putting 40 new windows in. And as we shot this last video, someone in California heard what we were doing and donated one of the windows on the wish list. And that was awesome. Um, as you look into the structure, its greatest feature is obviously the roof. Uh, this tongue and groove structure with the blue lamp. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, why didn't you just demo the whole thing and start over? This structure itself is probably worth about $700,000. Not only that, but you can't find people to do this kind of work. It does look like the inside of a ship. It's exactly what we want uh, for a nave. Right? So you can see this space here. This floor is all scheduled to be porcelain tile with some carpet insets where the accused will be. Uh, some of you have heard that, that it looks like we've got a donor uh, parish for the pews. A parish back east is going to donate their old pews to us are quite lovely. Let's take a look over here really quick and we'll walk over some of this equipment. On this side here, um, you can see that this hallway, this old ductwork is going to come out. Right in here, you'll see a lot of trench work that's been done. I'm going to kind of step over here. Uh, this is all preparatory for our new chapel. Uh, this new chapel will start at the narthex. It'll go up. Uh, you can see right here where this tarping is. This uh, gentleman's working. That's where that uh, chapel will end, basically. Um, and this will allow us on weekdays, uh, smaller baptisms, weddings, intimate settings, we'll be able to have a chapel that we'll be able to do services in, serve weekday liturgy. Back into the main space. If we make our way forward, you can see that they've already taken out uh, the south and north transepts. Uh, right now, this is the carpentry crew. Uh, they've been building walls, and uh, we're going to get to that in here in a little bit. But you can see that they've completely cut out the old... Uh, East-West theme, that's come out. And we're, we're ready now for some framing. They're going to overbuild the, the new roof. Uh, and this will be our north transept. This will be our south transept. Basically, the church comes into the front. Of the uh, this is where our choir will be. This will be additional seating. As you come up to the front of the building, I'm going to get to this last little bit. The icon screen will get installed. Uh, that's the one that we currently have. As Providence would have it, it fits basically almost exactly uh, from our old church into this church. About a nine inch difference on either side, but that works perfectly because we'll attach. Um, as you look at this, right in front here, this will be our solea. Now what we're gonna do is our solea, where we meet up for our sacraments, is gonna be at ground level. We did that to make sure that people who have difficulty you know, negotiating stairs, people who've got handicapped children, they're not gonna have to worry about making their way up to receive the Eucharist. They'll be able to come straight up. Uh, there won't be any steps. But as you get to this area where the icon screen is, there's gonna be two steps up uh, as you make your way up to the altar. Now, we can show you something that wasn't here before the last time. So you can see that they poured uh, the foundation uh, for the apse, where the icon of the Platitera is. And they poured the foundation for both the etc. So this etc. over here is used for the storage of uh, unction, uh, the vessels that we aren't using during the liturgy that day, um, and it creates symmetry, obviously. This etc. over here is where we prepare the uh, Prostomidi, the oblation, preparatory service before divine liturgy. You can kind of see it from back out all the way here, no one can see it came out. If you look back this other way, uh, they framed out this East Sanctuary wall. So you start to get a sense now that in redoing uh, this site, not only did we mess with what was going on outside, not only are we completely redoing the building itself, but we're also redoing the exterior. So we're, we're dealing with some of the funny geometry we had. We're creating uh, a sense of uh, space, a sense of permanence, a sense that the structure is a little bit larger than it actually is. Um, you can th see the three openings where the new arched uh, excedras and apse will go to kind of beautify the building. And as I mentioned in our last video, keep in mind that the exterior of the building is going to be reclad. So we're going we're to incorporate some of the old brick. 
uh, but we're putting new stone, uh, we're putting new stucco, as I said, all the exterior windows. So just a little quick update, a couple of things to remind you of. Our mustard seed match is going. Uh, we've got a $50,000 challenge out there right now. We've reached $42,000. So by the end of the month, we're hoping that we can collect another eight. That doubles our money to $100,000. Our wish list items are up. Things like chandeliers, tile, or windows. You, you can purchase those things, just go to our website. And uh, take a look at uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel where we're also posting these videos. Again, thanks a lot. Thanks to all who've been working hard. So exciting. We look forward to sharing more with you the next time uh, we have an opportunity to take you through our, our new uh, construction and renovation project. God bless.